I'm going to teach Jordan how to grout a tile floor. So uh, then I'm going to turn him loose and let him do this. So what you want to do with epoxy grout, today we're using Fusion Pro epoxy grout from Custom Building Products. So I usually just scoop right out of the container and right onto the floor. So what you need to worry about is 45 degree angles, okay? Not only 45 degree angle on your float, but 45 degree angle to your seam, okay? So if we were to take a little uh, little grout out and we have it on our, always ringing. If we have it on our float like this, we're gonna smush it into the grout line and we're going to smear it back or, or, uh, cover, or clean it off, now I'm tongue tied. We're gonna clean it off at a 45 degree angle. If I were to clean it off like this, I'd put a divot in it every single time. So 45 degrees, you're gonna wipe off, okay? When mixing, or when using a epoxy grout like this, you wanna move quickly and keep it in a relatively small space. So don't, don't try to go you know, 20 square foot at a time. Keep it relatively small, a little, a little, uh, when I said 25 square or 20 square feet, that's like four by five. That's like right here. <laughs> uh, but keep it a relatively small spot because you will need to wipe all this off. So this epoxy grout will dry extremely fast and it will start to flash off because it has polymers and things like that that make it dry extremely quick. So as you thin it out and you get it feathered, like when we're doing drywall mud, the edges will dry very fast. So once you get it cleaned up, we'll do this little corner here. And so what, this, what the sponge guy is gonna do, if you will go get my sponge bucket and wring those sponges out to where basically they, there's no water in it. We don't wanna pool water on top of the surface or anything like that. We want it relatively dried out because we don't want to introduce a ton of water back to this, but we need to have them wet in order to wipe them off. So if you'll see, I'm pushing the grout in at a 45 degree angle, and then you can come back, and push it in some more. You're basically just trying to pack that entire joint full of grout. Okay, then you can, you can always do it at a 90 degree angle as well. You don't necessarily have to do it at a, at a 45, but once you do it at a 90 degree angle, you have to stop before your next intersection because then you'll go 90 degrees across the other way. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so now that I've smeared my grout into all these cracks and crevices and get a majority of your, of your big dollops and stuff like that off of the surface, we're gonna take our sponge and we're gonna start to wipe. Remember, keeping it at a 45 degree angle, wipe your grout off. Now, you're gonna get fairly messy here because the grout's gonna be all over your hands, but some guys do this with gloves. Some guys will be like, oh, it's not safe to do it without gloves on. But you'll change your sponges often. Because you see, it's literally just smearing the color around on the, on the tile. But as you continue to wipe it down, and you continue to flip your sponge, you will get a nicer color like that. See that? Okay, so now we're coming better and better each time. So the further you go, or the further you get along with it, the less passes you're gonna do with the sponge. So I'm gonna get the rest of this off because I need to get that off of the wall. Okay, okay. And Jordan's just wringing it out so that there's very little water left. But I'll keep, you just basically keep going back and forth and back and forth until you're not spreading the grout around anymore. So you don't have to be an expert to do this. It doesn't take a PhD. You can use different sides of the of the sponge to make sure you get everything. But then the further you go along, one pass, and then do another one and one pass. Okay. And obviously you can still walk on this, you can move around on it, 
you can do whatever you need to as long as you don't step on the grout line. So you might end up with a haze at the end, which is normal. You'll have a haze that you just can't seem to get off. Well, that haze is still that grout color and you need to just go over it barely with the sponge. So the final wipe is just one wipe and then another one wipe. And then you can use different sides of the sponge. You can use it in any way possible. I usually just get lighter with it. You wanna make sure that you have no air bubbles or anything like that. Then do we have that microfiber in that bucket still? Will you wring out that microfiber? The last step that I like to do is use a microfiber towel. And so I'll just wring out a microfiber towel and then we just use that as our final coat, so or our final wash off. So I'll put it up there and then we'll just wipe it back like this. That microfiber towel just has a lot more square footage on it than a sponge does and it just sucks up that last haze. Now, after it flashes off for a little bit, you can go back and hit it again, but that's how you grout a floor. Simple as that. So then you just move around in sections and keep going everywhere around the floor. Easy day. Give it a shot. Yeah, if you need to cut it out, then it's perfectly fine to just come in with your, where are you at? Where does it need cut? Yeah, so just perfectly fine to come in here Cut it out like that, and then take your sponge and just get that out of the way. And then ground it. So as Jordan continues to grout, um, a couple things to note are uh, the little air bubbles in your grout. Make sure that you don't have any air bubbles in your grout. If you have, if you washed your floor down before with a sponge and you left too much moisture or too much water in the grout seam and then you try to grout over it, that bubble or that water will bubble out and create a little pinhole. Now, it's completely acceptable to go back through with uh, your grout float or your finger later and fill those little bubbles in with uh, grout. You don't need to necessarily get them now, but something to look at, look forward to. Uh, what you just saw me do with Jordan there is we had a little bit of grout or a little bit of mortar that was poking out of the grout. So what we did was go ahead and knife that back and then sponge it out of the way and then we can continue to grout. Now, at this stage, Jordan is getting to the point where he needs to sponge this off because he's overworking it and it's been on the floor too long. It'll start to get really, really hard to take it off. So if you can work quickly, then you don't have to really worry about it. But if you work slowly, you'll figure out that uh, it will dry fast on the surface. So Jordan, when you're wiping it off, be sure to stay at that 45 degree angle so that you're not digging any of the mortar out of the, out of the grout line. So keep that 45 degree angle. And then I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the edges of your grout starting to dry on the floor. So make sure you get that stuff. You can trade out your sponge. So working quick, Working quickly and getting this up off the floor is best case scenario. If you do have an instance where uh, you have a grout that dried on the floor on you and you just can't get it off, um, there are products for that. Um, there's grout release that you can use ahead of time or you can use it after, it doesn't matter. But grout release will basically uh, create a sacrificial barrier on the tile so that the, the grout can come off uh, easier when you're grouting it. So if you're really a beginner, you might consider getting some grout release. Uh, grout release is a product that you spread on with the sponge 30 minutes ahead of time, and then it will allow that grout to come off easier. So Jordan will learn real quickly why you don't leave the grout for very long on the surface. Do you see it over here? If 
See how it dried on you? Mm -hmm. It'll flash off really fast. So just keep it moving and keep it, keep it going so that you don't have to worry about any grout on the floor. This spot looks good. So that the, these, uh, these sponges are available at any of your big box stores. Um, the little yellow square sponge that Jordan's using right now is actually a Maypay sponge that comes in Maypay grout buckets. Um, and it works pretty good for Maypay grouts, but I don't like using it for everything. I feel like it does a better job cleaning the excess right. film stuff up. Yeah, it's just a totally different kind of sponge altogether. So if you're in front of a customer or you're, you know, if you're a contractor doing this for a customer and the customer's like, oh my gosh, I don't like, I don't like how light the grout is. It's not, that's not what I wanted. This will darken as it dries. This is not going to be the final color. Water actually makes this, this grout lighter. And you can already, you can already tell that some of the grout in the back corner is starting to darken up. So.